Hello there and welcome to a new SketchUp rendering tutorial using the rendering program iRender Next. Today I would like to show you how to apply material bump maps to water in order to make it look more realistic in your rendering. Here you see a model with a pool which should show uh, what the realistic water should look like. In the end this is the goal we would like to strive for actually and as you can see uh, you actually see that the water is more realistic than uh, what it would normally look like because uh, normally this is what it would look like and as you can see um, it gives this result if you render it um, without changing anything in the SketchUp model and as you can see it's just a little bit too uh, reflective and actually looks like glass and therefore we would like to change that and in this tutorial I'm showing you how to do this. Um, so to make the water look more realistic in SketchUp click on uh, the water and then right uh, or actually right click on the water and then select uh, our render next then click on edit material and then select the uh, texture tab and then uh, I'm using a skill of 10 and a strength of 110 and then you can click on the uh, render button to render the model and see the end result. And as you can see, the result is much more realistic than uh, yeah, the original, which I showed you before, which looked too much like a mirror and was too reflective. Here you kind of see the m bumps in the water, um, which is what we want, of course, to make it look more realistic and to really make it look like a pool. So um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you in this tutorial uh, using the rendering program RRender Next. So um, yeah, if you'd like to learn more about this program, you can check out my other tutorials or check out their website, renderplus.com. And then I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you actually um, learned something new as well. So thanks for watching and then I hope to see you back later.